giving the left uh, shift lever a little tweak, straightening it out perfectly straight before I tighten it down. So in this uh, clip, just trimming off the excess cable, leaving five centimeters of cable exposed uh, for slack and to attach the ferrule. In this clip, measuring and installing the bra rear brake cable, making sure that I can turn the handlebars all the way without it pinching on the cable itself. Not too long, not too short. It has to be just right. Always measure twice and cut once. When cutting brake cables, you can flex the cable a little bit to make it easier to cut. It's good to have a rotary tool such as a Dremel with a sandpaper piece to sand down the sharp edges of the brake cable to make it perfectly flush when you install it into the housing or the ferrule area where it connects into your frame. Putting about 10 drops of tri-flow in the cable to uh, disperse water in case water gets into the housing at any point. That's what the tri-flow is for and for smoother braking with the cable inside the housing. These old school uh, x -Age Sport Shimano brakes require a spanner tool in order to loosen the brake cable within the clamp. So it's just one more tool that I have to carry when I'm riding. I have a very small spanner tool that I found a long time ago and it fits in my jersey pocket or saddlebag and it's super light, no problem. Sliding the actual brake housing into place before I install the brake cable through the front end of the Shimano shifter lever. seconds are crucial. There's one person bidding against me. I'm not going to use any of these. Right when it hits 10 seconds, I'm going to jam that confirmed bid. Boom. Four, three, two, one. Boom. End it. 
Let's see if I won. Da, da, da. Congratulations, you've won this auction. Please pay now. I did it. All right, awesome. So stoked. That is for that bike out there to run the 26. So once the housings are all measured and installed, and you've ensured that they're the right length so you can turn your handlebars without impeding on the, the wires themselves or the cables themselves. You can fit the brake cable through and then through the housing and it should work. Now on to the front brake. Left-handed lever, front brake for the United States. This video was shot before I bought my actual cable cutter tool from Pedros. I have a Pedros cable cutter tool. Uh, the cable cutter I'm using right now is just a standard hardware store cable cutter uh, also works pretty good um, but if you're cutting through shifter cable which has um, a whole bunch of internal wires in it you're going to want to use a cable cutter because it cuts the cable from 360 degrees all around the cable versus a regular standard cable cutter from a hardware store uh, cuts it only from the beveled end. Putting the cassette on, using a spanner and the park tool, uh, park tool for the lock ring to tighten on. Uh, when you're removing, you need a you need a chain whip, but when you're putting on, you just need the park tool. Time to get tubular tubes. Installing the tire, especially if it's a Kevlar bead like this one is, the Specialized Armadillo Elite is always a challenge. Start from the valve closest to you, work your way down, and then shimmy on the last piece. Try not to use a tire lever so that you don't pinch flat.
using the grease liberally on the seat post because it is a steel bike and this is an aluminum seat post so want to prevent corrosion use a lot of grease shimmy it down It's helpful if you have a tape measure here, use your measurements from your other bikes and measure your seat post to the middle of the crank or actually top of the seat, top of the saddle to the middle of the crank. Depending on your crank arm length, you might have to adjust a centimeter or two. Installing a chain guard, but because I didn't remove the inner old double sticky tape, I had to do that later that night. And I'm actually going to use some shoe bonding glue, uh, waterproof material, uh, to reinstall this because the double sided sticky tape ended up not working. It's alive, it's alive, switching all 10 gears, but still got to index it. Not quite there yet. Pretty good, not there yet. And then of course, I have to install the new derailleur when it comes in, the one I won on eBay you saw earlier, and install a new chain. Here is the very first test ride on the road. Everything shifts pretty smooth except under tension. The chain does skip because this is an old chain made from a Shimano chain and a SRAM chain mended together into one piece. Uh, gets the bike going but not good for sprinting on so I ended up installing a brand new chain as well as a long cage derailleur uh, or medium cage 105 derailleur later. Um, as you saw in previous vlogs. Yeah. 